What is going on guys? This is going to be the second part of the future of football simulated in FM20 Touch. And as you can see, we are currently 10 years into the future. So let's see what's been going on in the world of football. And let's see. So the first league we're going to look at is the Brazilian League, where it is currently led by Corinthians with um, 10 matches played. Played. Um, yeah, let's just have a look at the certain players if they see if there's anyone still there. Hurtado, maybe. I don't even know. But yeah, I don't even know half these guys. You know what I'm saying? None of them I know here. So let's just see. Recap the winners real quick. So, St. Paulo won in 2024. Then Gremio won the next title, Flamengo won it the season after, then Corinthians with a double league win to round off. Let's just go to the Premier League right now because I'm thinking everyone's interested to see it. So let's see the Premier League, you know, Manchester United win the league with 91 points. Chelsea comes second with 88. Liverpool come third with 85, but yeah, 13 draws. They've only lost once, Liverpool, and that was against Man United. And also 13 draws as well didn't even help their cause. But yeah, you, you could have easily think if Liverpool didn't draw that many games, Liverpool win the league. You know, Man City coming fourth. Arsenal 5th, Spurs coming in 6th, Norwich coming in 7th, ahead of Wolves, Leicester and Leeds United in the race for European competition. Relegation is, this season is going to be Stoke, Aston Villa and Burnley on goal difference. So let's, if we go into the stages, let's see, you know... See, so, okay, let's see if we go on to see the stages. You know, Burnley have scored more goals than Southampton, you know, but Southampton won their last two matches to survive in the league when they looked likely to get relegated. You know, Everton as well coming in 60. No, that's not very good for Everton standards. Uh, West Ham 15th, Brighton as well, Brentford. As well in 13th. Then you got Watford and Bournemouth. Bournemouth completely fell off. They lost their last five matches. As well. Who was predicted to win this league? It was Liverpool predicted to win the league. Out of Man City, Man United. You know. I don't think we've actually seen a dream team as of yet. But this is a dream team guys. It looks very good. Decent. The lit is there, you know, Fabio Silva, Joshua Zerxi, and Bape. The guys still there. And if you look at the key players, you can see Bentico and Deli Ali there for Tottenham, Ard Odorin and Nindidi there for Leicester, Morgan Rogers at Everton, Brooks, Azaro, McAllister. Um, Danny Lode is at Burnley, Fournell still with West Ham, Lewis still with uh, Norwich, Godfrey is with Brentford, Sessignon with Everton. So yeah, let's have a look. Well, Garrado is the new Manchester United manager. So we have a look through the managers first, but let's see what's going on with the transfers and everything. So we was in the 24-25 the season, so let's Go from there, Vinicius as well, I think we talked about that. Ben Godfrey as well, coming in from Norwich City for 40.5 million. Some impressive deal, Jota going out to Juventus. Um, yeah, Jota's gone out to Juventus, 42.5 mil. Aaron Wambasaka. Has gone to PSG, so you can just see his development there. Who's he interested by? He's wanted by Leon. You know, two years left in his deal. 
he he's done decent. He's done very decent. You know, another Premier League player to join the PSG dream team. I mean, PSG are just something else when they're recruiting players. Let's see. Lindelof has gone to Norwich with 16 million in the sixth season. Surprised how Lindelof has just stayed there for five seasons at Man United. You know. And next season you got Nasa Bata from Atalanta for 28.5 mil. And he's the vice captain as well. So, yeah, the, you know, he's a right back vice captain already. He's very, he's done decent. He's done decent. He's on 300,000 a week as well. Ar Arjoro. I think that's how you say it. He starts off in Barcelona B. He's now at Manchester United. You know, Chiesa has gone to um, Juventus. Yeah, Chiesa's gone to Juve. I think that's a really impressive deal, Def. Really impressive deal. Um, Ryan McCarthy's gone to Bournemouth. Gil Maldo has gone to Real Madrid, actually. Actually, but he's not even with Real Madrid now. He's at Zaragoza where he's transfer listed because he is surplus to requirements. So he starts a game off at Benfica, Grimaldo, he's at Man United, then he goes to Real Madrid, then he's at Sporting, and then seems to be winding down his career back in Spain. I mean, respect to it. Harry Maguire has gone back to Sheffield United, and surprisingly, Harry Maguire is going to retire with Galatasaray. So you can just see Harry Maguire going back to Sheffield United. You know, going back to where it all started for him. And he's retiring in the Super League with Galatasaray. Where he scored four goals and got four assists as well. So yeah, slabbing Maguire. Earning 50k a week at the Galatasaray. Um, in the next season you've got Kieran Murray. From Brighton, um, for 36 to 56 million, there thereabouts, Nathan Ake has joined Manchester United as well as Rika Rackard from Ajax. So, solid players, solid players that they've got in Mason Greenwood, you know, the wonder kid. Again, he's now at Juventus, as you can see, and in 225. 275k a week there again let's just see his Manchester United career his Manchester United career hasn't really got going for him I mean he got two loans to Porto and he's just been a rotation player and again you know Greenwood did start most games in the first season but he transferred to Chelsea but then was a rotation player and Mason Greenwood he got his scoring tally in since say 13 goals for Juventus in 31 league appearances and in all competitions you've got 17 goals with 41 appearances so you could just say a move abroad has worked wonders for Mason Greenwood and again still 27 in this game Lissandro Martinez has gone to Barcelona as well he's earning 100 130k a week and yeah, he's done really decent at Barcelona so far. So. And also, Artar Melo has gone to PSG. However, he's at Guangzhou in China. He's earning 275k a week there. And yeah, Guangzhou paid 57 million to get Artar in, which is crazy money. You know. These clubs over there, they pay crazy money for players. They'll go all out to get a player. Gianluigi Donnarumma has been signed from Leicester for 39 million with add-ons that could potentially rise to 60 million. Itaganskov has actually come in from China as well. Vinicius Jr. left Manchester United for PSG. Again, another player joining the coup. You know, the Paris contingent. He's only 300 thousand a week there and that that is just solid stats man Vinicius always getting double digits since the 22-23 season and he's got a bit more seasons left in him so David Gea 
is absolutely mad. David Gea has transferred over to Leicester City. In ex it's not a swap deal, guys. It's not a swap deal. But Joan Luigi Donnarumma has come in to Manchester United and they, Leicester was given David De Gea. And to be honest, David De Gea, he's been conceding a lot more goals since he's not Manchester United defence. It's the Leicester City defence. And he's has been keeping a lot of clean sheets as well. Only five in his last season before he retires. So yeah, De Gea, what a career he has had over there. Um, the next season, you got Kuli, Ku, Kuzovski coming in from Juventus, 250k a week there. He's got 17 assists as well in all competition for Manchester United and what an investment, what an investment, you know. Also, a couple of other wonder kids have also come in as well. One from Russia, that could be 46 million, 0.5 million. And one from Shakhtar, which could be 34.5 million in add-ons. Ake has gone out. Hakimi's also gone as well. He's gone and he's wanted by Real Madrid as well. At Juve, he's now wanted by Real Madrid. But he is 30 years old though. Make the return. Dean Henderson has gone to Tottenham. Finally. You know what I mean? Dean Henderson has just been at Manchester United. Is this whole tenure not really getting a look into the Manchester United goalkeeping ranks. So yeah, unfortunately. But let's roll on to the next team we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at Chelsea. Now Chelsea. Chelsea here, we're going to go back. They did get in Javier Jesus. Paul Pogba has come in and he's now retiring with Diwali as well. Paul Pogba, he has come in for 50 million from PSG, but unfortunately, Paul Pogba did not even play a single game for Chelsea in the league before he went to his old Diwali. He's on a free. Um, but Stoney as well is also coming as well. Hudson Odoi didn't make the grade. Pulisic is now with Tottenham, surprisingly. He's now with Tottenham, surprisingly. I mean, it's a surprising move right there. 185k a week. I mean, he's been doing, he's been doing, he's been doing decent in Spurs. Not great overall rating when he was at PSG. You know, but it's still decent. It's still decent in terms of Premier League stand. It's still decent. Rating, of course, Af Rodri going to Atletico Madrid, Kingsley Coman going to Inter. Um, a lot of outgoings there. Gelson Martins going as well. That's noted. Kise, Frise, and Linarius has all come in for Chelsea. Ferro and Ziyech Rudiger has been sold that year. Um, Lucas Hernandez, he's coming, he's still with Chelsea. 200, 250k a week. Yo, it's worth the investment. He's getting old, but I think it was worth the investment. You know, overall, he's getting more than a 7 in rating. He's getting consistently getting 7.1 ratings. You know, that's what you want. Mason Greenwood, we talked about. Lee Kanging. Lee Kanging is coming from Hertha Berlin for eighty three million pounds. Wow. Big buck. Hertha making a profit on this guy. Love to see it. Um Yeah, Lee Kanging has done very well for Chelsea. Benitez as well. Ninety four million pounds for Nisiskio Benitez as well to be signed. Just incredible. Incredible talent, and he's now wanted by Barcelona of all teams. By Leverkusen making a huge profit on this guy as well. So big up. Also selling Kai Havertz for them. He's made 60 appearances as well, 14 goals and 19 assists in league play in all competitions. Absolutely crazy stats right there. 
Ethan Ampadu has gone to Brighton. Gabriel Jesus has gone to Arsenal for £76 million. So Arsenal probably, I, I just think Arsenal definitely overpaid that. I feel like right now, yeah, we definitely overpaid that. Absolute, I mean, the full scoring ratios, it just hasn't been great. It hasn't been great. £76 million down the drain. He went back to Gramayo for, 30, for half that. Just under half that. You know, Arduin has gone to Leicester City. Lamar has gone to Man City. 100 160k a week there. Not he done hasn't done so great this season, but Thomas Lamar consistently getting above a seven in rating. Um Hernan Romeo Signed from Benfica for eighty-eight million pounds. I mean, the transfers—it's a lot, guys. Nuno Mendes as well coming in, as well. I think he's a solid defender. He stayed at Sporting. Wow, I'm shocked sort of that he stayed at Sporting for that long. Moving to Bayern Munich for thirty million, and then Chelsea getting him for forty-five. Quality player that. So Justin Cliver. Let's talk about Justin Cliver, 250k a week. You know, Justin Cliver, I mean, he's been at Real Madrid for the last five seasons. Yeah, he moved to Chelsea. And he's done, he's done okay. He's done okay in the Premier League. He's done okay in the Premier League. No. Robinson Rodiela, Craig Noble, bit weird. Liverpool. Selling him for that cheap to Chelsea. I mean, a youth player that could potentially make it at the grade, make the grade. You never know. You never know. Um, Mason Greenwood sold. Christensen has been sold. Jordan Boyce has been sold as well on deadline day. A right back who can, who is accomplished centre back. I mean. kind of funny why Chelsea would actually sell him but I guess they, they they just did it to just make money you never know but hey ho let's have a look at Liverpool now you know Trent is the captain let's have a look Liverpool what did they do this season you know Erling Haaland 375k a week and they've got in Erling Haaland and Liverpool I tell you what, Liverpool are just absolutely crazy in this game. Signing Erling Haaland for 145 million. Wow, that is crazy, in my opinion. So crazy, you know. So he's been consistently in his years at PSG. He's been getting. He got at least 20 goals. You know, hasn't really got as much goals in the Premier League, but he is just so. He's such a threat. He is such a threat. He's such a threat. You know, left footed. You know, six foot four. That is just a striker. Jean Claire Tobido's gone to Liverpool as well. Everton, you know, has gone to Liverpool 190k a week. Um to sign him. Oh that's what's how much he's earning. 75k million as well. And yes, he's been consistently performing. You know, you love to see it. You know, George Carousel, Militao went to PSG for 96,235k a week. And wow, he's been performing there. Another Premier League player going to PSG. Sadio Mane also went to PSG for 36.5 million. Jordan Henderson left to join Sevilla for 5.5 or is a dollar left for China Mohamed Aitiran and look at that would you guys look at this look at this man absolute crazy 112 million p Liverpool got him to sign him um to sign him and trust me he he is to see he's performing he is he is performing at it a rotational player I mean, some seasons but yeah it was a gamble that Liverpool took and it paid off for him you know Itaran starts up the game as a wonder kid and look at how he just grows 
to an elite attacking midfielder. Kunaya Boyce Clark, you know, there's so someone you need to definitely keep an eye on. Liverpool got it for 25 million. Molda is also coming from Sismolo for 24. You know, Jack Grealish went to Inter. Surprisingly, he's went to Inter for 46 million. Harvey Elliott went to Newcastle for 1.6. Couldn't make the grade there. Celias as well. Coming in from Gremio and the fee transfer fees are just rising and rising. Konoya Bice Clark went to Tottenham, you know, so it was only a scene that Liverpool had in Fabinho is also with Spurs. Now, Rodrigo, I mean, I'm surprised Rodrigo went to Napoli. Yeah, he probably couldn't he couldn't have made it in. He's probably the one to leave for first team football. But yeah, Napoli making a humongous profit on on him, you know. And it's funny to believe that Rod Real Madrid actually made a huge loss on Rodrigo, and Liverpool have actually paid 30, 73 million for him. You know, Robertson joined Burnley. Janelson De Silva joined Mario Cortez has um, left for, for Barcelona for 122 million, million pounds. Um, he's on a he's on earning 325k a week, and his stats are just absolutely mental for a winger. Look at that! Just the physicals are just absolutely crazy. You know, Mexican wonder kid. He came a long way from Liverpool. You know. He's now at Barcelona and he's got 13 goals, 8 assists from 40 appearances over the course of the season. And that rating, 7.6, he's looking like he's Barcelona. Worth the money. Virgil van Dijk, of course. Let's have a look at van Dijk. Van Dijk is, you know, he's earning 205k a week. And, you know, Virgil van Dijk returning to Netherlands, returning to home, of course, returning to home, you know, Van Dijk, over the course, you know, Liverpool, over the course of this Liverpool save, Van Dijk has absolutely, he's, he's been mental, look, look at, look at all of those, look at all of this, 7.69 that year, in 21-22, Unbelievable, and he's also got a 7.52 in the league for Ajax. Let's see how he's doing. He's retiring in a couple of days. He wants to be a head of youth development or even an assistant manager. So yeah, look forward to seeing how his career in management goes as we now move on to Manchester City. Who have Manchester City? We'll have a look at managers because they don't have a manager at the moment. So we'll look. Maybe because it's their fourth place finish in the league that was unacceptable. Oi Oziabril has signed from Benfica for 61 million, and Chiwa has come in from Leicester for 58 million. Hazus has been sold to Chelsea. Mendy has, has gone as well. Galano has also gone for big money 80 million for Galano. That is absolutely crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy money right there. That is honestly crazy money. You know, he starts off the game at Braga. And his development has been something else. Um, yeah, Trippy Deli coming in. Reese Williams coming in from Preston North End. And, and this is, this is, this is what I'm going, this is what I'm on about, guys. This is what I'm honestly... On about guys. This is what I'm honestly on about. You know. Let's have a look at this guys. So um first of all the guy wasn't even 16. The guy barely was 16. Reese Williams, the guy was barely 16. And he could be earning with add-ons, it could the fee could fully fee could rise up to 18.25 million. And the guy was just 16 at the time. The guy was literally 16. At the time, I literally had to dig deep, you know, 
and research this. The guy's 16, you know, he's been on a couple of loans to New York City. He's been on three loans to New York City, actually, you know, as he looks to better his footballing experience. He's been on loan, and it's, it's just crazy, the pool, the pool of just certain teams. It's crazy. Tosin Adebrayo went to Leicester, Tafaglia went to Benfica, you know, Boca, Hulimar, a keeper, and this Hulimar guy is actually at Brentford. Wow. Brentford are mad. Leicester and Sevilla both want him. But it's actually crazy. This Hulimar guy. This Hulimar guy starts off the game at Waterford. Transfers to Man City for 4.475k. Moves to PSG despite only having played one Man City. Made one City appearance in the league. He moves to PSG. Backup player. Arsenal got him for 23 million. Wasn't worth it. And now he's with Brentford for 22 million. And he's been playing matches. What a career he's had. Jacob Bell. And wow. I cannot believe it. Jacob Bell. Of all people. Jacob Bell. 91 million from Everton, which is impressive. Marmadou Guy, Guy, and, and you know, another guy. Is, is this, literally, this is literally it. Another guy coming in for big bucks. Big bucks. I mean, if he does well, the add on could rise up to 15 million. It is, it's literally crazy, guys. It's literally crazy. Here's another player. Here's another player as well. Adrian O'Sullivan, 9.75. City got him from Plymouth Argyle. And he's already been playing matches. 19 years old. 19 years old. He was on trial at Man U He was on trial at Manchester United. He was on trial at Manchester United, guys. You know, he started the game, he started off in Finn Pops Youth Academy as well. Absolutely crazy. Crazy. Tammy Abraham has also joined from PSG for 38.5 million. You know, he's been a rotation player. You know, he's been performing well. Not, you know, yeah, hasn't really scored. Not known for his goal scoring, isn't he? I mean, he got 11 for Chelsea in the first season. But only then in Benfica that he's shown. You know what I mean? Um, John Stones went to Tottenham for 22.5 million. And also Serginio Dent, another wonder kid. He starts the game off as a wonder kid. And look at how developed he really is right now, man. You know, 53 million PSG got him for from Man City. And he has just been quality. Laporte has gone to Ajax for, um, Laporte, you know, Laporte has gone to Ajax for 28 mil. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy Zabu has gone to Barcelona. My name is just on PSD. And it's crazy because Ozzy Zabu was at Barcelona before. Barcelona going for 65 million. He was deemed surplus, sold to Benfica, then went to Man City, and now he's back at Barcelona. Which is crazy. It's crazy enough. You know, Morgan Rogers, you know, the guy who effectively earns 25k a week at 17 years old, is has been sold to Everton for 37.5 million. You know, and, you know, Morgan Rogers, he has found, you know, he has found first team football with Everton. You know, he is scoring goals. Yeah, the fee, the fee there for Man City, 6 million. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, the pull, the pull certain teams make. This game, Saidi, Saidi from Valencia was signed for 88 million. 
And this is crazy. 300k a week. Quality player. Starts the game off at Groningen. Grain. Then goes to Valencia. And then Man City. Where he's got 16 goals. 11 assists. In 49 appearances. All competitions. Absolutely crazy. That stat. You know. Trippidelli. Also as at Barcelona. You know. He's won it by Arsenal. I think. Was he really somebody who would accept a Barcelona bar? He's, he's going to have a decent career. He starts the game at Benevetto on loan in Serie A. Bear. Bear then moves on to being Sassuolo's first choice right back. And man, Man City got him for, for 24.5. And then they doubled their profit on him by selling him for 52 million. I mean, that is just investment. And then in Burke, Oscar. I mean, he hasn't really had a great career. I mean, he was at Liverpool. Then he was sold to Valencia. Then he's been at Bologna. And now he's with Man City. And it's only a 6.32 in league play. I mean, ugh, ugh. will he be City's backup keeper? Or will they get another keeper? You know, something to watch out for. Arsenal, let's have a look at what they have done. Let's have a look at what they have been doing. So, my club, we got in Brocalo from our Wolfsburg again. Again, lightning strikes twice. Brocalo was transferred to Arsenal in game as well in FM19 simulation video. Uh, Sensi has also come in. Drogowski has come in. Leno has been sold to Schalke. Balogun Gondosi going out. Torreira also going out as well. Smith Rowe being sold to West Ham. As well as Sebastian Vida, Joe John Jules sold to Fulham. So a lot of players sold as well. Kingsley Coleman coming in for 81 million. I mean, it, was he really worth this investment? Was he worth the investment? Paul Torres as well. It's crazy that Ningolo Kante signed on the free as well as Steven Bergwijn. Oh my god, Steven Bergwijn did a Sol Campbell. That's a shame because he's not even at the club anymore. But um, it's funny, Steven Bergwijn did a Sol Campbell. That's crazy. That is crazy. N'Golo Kante has retired. Again, Kante left Chelsea on the free. He joined Arsenal. But let's be frank right now. Yeah, he was just a squad player. You know, I hate to say it. Paul Torres is listed. You know, he's he's a very decent defender. He's a decent defender. He's a decent find. If you got the money, get him. He's a decent find. You know, Kingsley Coman, was he even worth it? I mean, he's at Olympiacos now. And it seems like he again. Was he worth it? I mean, he was sold to Leicester for 33 million, so Arsenal making a huge loss on him. Denny was sold to Olympiacos for 1.8. And his career, it's just, it's just flashed down his eyes. Robinson Rodieva. I mean, yeah, you could just see his development right here. Colombian, right back. Broderick was sold to Leicester as well. Balogun went to Frankfurt on a free. Uh, Barbosa. Sold for um, 65 million to PSG, then getting sold for 20 million to Corinthians um, soon after. And it's funny because Barbosa never even played for PSG in the season when he left. It's crazy. Roldak is sold to Milan. Jesus again had Hyman Junior Triore was he worth 66 million? I think he is. I think it was worth the money. I think he's definitely worth the money. He's definitely got some well-rounded stats around him. I think he's done decent. Um Joshua Bailey. Joshua Bailey being sold to Leeds United for 44 million. You know. I mean, this is money you love to do. you love to see it. You love to see it. You know, love absolutely love to see it. You know, if someone that isn't going to make it, then Leeds paid forty four million to spend. You know, spend on a winger. 
which is decent. It's decent. It's decent. You know, Gary Bo, Gary Boa. Let's just have a quick look at him. Gary Boa as well. The Paul, you know, the Paul, you know, coming to Arsenal for five million. That could rise to ten point seven five million as well. Seasick as well comes to Arsenal on a free transfer, and wow, the free transfer definitely looked so good. You know, surprisingly quite left Leverkusen the way he did on a free. You know what I mean? But it is an it is it is worth the pick up. 19 determination, 16 off the ball. You know, the physicals are there, the dribbling's there, the passing, the technique, everything you want in a winger. It it, it it's literally what you want in a winger. You know. He's done. He's done really decent as well. Really decent. And Karim Sharia as well comes to Arsenal from Barcelona. Well, what a solid defensive midfielder he is. The technicals, the passing, the tackling, the technique, all, all, all crucial attributes you probably want in defensive midfielder. And yeah, he's definitely been quality. But again, he was just a rotation option. At Barcelona, so you can understand why he wanted to leave for first team football. Because a guy, I mean, you would who want who doesn't want to be a rotation player? That is just literally how it is. Nobody wants to be a rotational player, you know. That's just how it is. Julima and Tom Hoff Hocroft coming in for 52 million for Sheffield United. Edson Navarro is going out. Bergwijn going up, Madison going to Barcelona as well for 35.5 million, you know, rotation option, but this is some, this is some risk you've got to take. If the money's there, if the club is willing to pay, then I'd happily sell some. And Dewhurst is coming for 32 million, Locreno as well, he starts up the game at Santos, would you believe it, and look at that. Look at this, guys. In Gremio, he got 23 assists in all competitions. 21 assists alone in league play with 7 goals from 44 appearances in league play. You know, Barcelona got him, you know, and then Arsenal. Again, it was a rotation issue, which forced Arsenal to move in, offer him that first team football. And yes, he's shining. He's shining. Plata as well, coming in from Southampton for 62 million. Artis Fernandez as well coming in on a loan deal from Barcelona again. It's like I got a question of transfers. Barcelona getting a guy for 55 million from Villarreal, yet they're not even good. they're not even playing him. It's it I, I don't know how to just put it, guys. I don't know how to put it. Honestly, don't Bellerin has gone to West Ham United on a free. You know, he's done decent over there in West Ham. Claret and Blue of West Ham. And then lastly for the Spurs, let's have a look at the transfers. You know, let's have a look at the transfers. So Dominguez has come in as well. Again, he hasn't really shown with the Spurs or has he? Nope, he hasn't shown with the Spurs. He had a poor season that year, but he just rebounded. Then he was surplus. Then he joined Porto. Then he joined Porto. Greg Taylor's coming as well. Thomas Stevenson, you know, another guy coming in. You know, the pull, the pull of um, you know, he joined for 5.25. Andrew Fagan, Andrew uh, Fagan, as well. Uh, let's have a look at this guy's age. You know, Andrew Fagan as well. You know, bit part 11 million. You know, he's coming from Bristol City, you know. So, these are the pool, man. It's, it's to these top clubs will take your players. They will likely take your players. That's the, that's how it literally is. Um, mainly, you know, major sales. Ramsdale going out to Brentford. There's, an, there's one sale that you look at. Um... Again, let's have a look at this. Rangers, Ryan Crawford coming in as well from Rangers. Elvedi's coming as well. Cucurella's coming. And he's a good left back. 
And he's had a successful career with Barcelona, hasn't he? You know, is he the new Jordi Balba? We know he's put it's early pressure on this kid, but the way his career's panned out, he's 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 been very good. Tottenham signing him for fifty one million million pounds. Definitely worth the money, you know. John Stones has been sold to Norwich. Greg Taylor's been sold. Boris Clark has been sold to Everton as well. Kumbolo as well. Pulisic, James Justin. You know, surprisingly, Dean Henderson, Stuart Smith. You know, Stuart Smith. Signing from, from Leicester for 27.5. And Bruno Espinosa signing from Brescia for 20 million. Anastasi as well has been sold to PSG, so he's earning 300k a week. Another Premier League player to leave the Premier League for PSG, and um, yeah, he has been shining. He's been shining here. Jem Prowl has been sold to Brighton for 29 million. Ryan Sessegnon has been sold to Everton. And Elvedi has gone out. So right now, let's have a look at the managers right now. You know, you know, let's have a look at you know, let's have a look at the top scorers. You know, Hernan Romeo is actually the top scorer. You know, and he he is mad. He's got 16 on corners, 16 dribbling, 16 finishing, 16 first start, 18 on free kicks. Oh my god! Oh my god! Chelsea have gotten a bad boy striker. 20 goals in 30 league appearances. It's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. His career has just panned out to be a mad one. Absolutely mad. Kylian Mbappe with 19 goals. I mean, the evergreen Mbappe, he, now he cuts it for Manchester United in the Premier League. No, what a, go, what a goal scoring career he's had. Fabio Silva, yet yeah, another one. He's wanted by Manchester City and PSG, so hopefully Arsenal can keep him, keep him at the club. It might be hard if bids come in. Might be hard if bids come in though. Might be hard. Copa Femi, Calvert Lewin at Burnley, Martinez still there, still with Man City. And yes, he's filling in the boots of Sergio Aguero before him. And he's filling it in well. Raheem Sterling still there. And he's only six. What the hell? You guys, guys, Raheem Sterling is earning 625k at Man City. Sterling is earning more than Mbappe. And I think Mbappe is the better player. That is just absolutely crazy. Marcus Rashford, he's still in Man United. But again, being rotated in at the team. And yeah, Marcus Rashford doesn't mind it. I mean, Fane got the most assists. And he is cold. He's cold. Leeds United have picked him up with 2.7 million and haven't looked back. Wow. The quality. The absolute quality to... Pick him up from Bayern Munich and just bring him to the Premier League is absolutely something else. You know, Haaland's still up there. Trent is still up there. He's earning 300k a week. Xerxes is earning, is earning slightly more than Trent Martinelli. Surprised, he's earning 106, only 160k a week. He's wanted by Real Madrid. Major interest there. Martinelli hasn't really been a goal scorer in this say, simulation so far, only reaching double digits in the last two. So it's going to be this season, but it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out in the Premier League. Let's just have a look at the Premier Leagues right now. So the Premier Leagues, you've got Man City winning the league in the 4-0-4, 24-25 season. Then Liverpool, then City, then Liverpool, and then finally Manchester United break their curse. So it's going to be a 16-year wait for Manchester United to finally lift the Premier League trophy. Again, Chelsea have yet to win a Premier League, as have Arsenal at this current point in the simulation, and as of Tottenham can. It's all been dominated by teams in the north, 
of England, can the South of England recover and finally make their mark in the Premier League? We'll have to wait and find out. Of course, so in the first season, it was a closely contested race between the Manchester clubs. You know, Manchester City just edging Manchester United. You know, Liverpool and Chelsea rounding off the top four with Arsenal getting in the Champions League by winning the Europa League. Tottenham having to set up for Europa League. Leicester getting in Europa League as well. Aston Villa, Newcastle and Swansea being relegated from the Premier League. And then in the next season, Liverpool did win the league ahead of competition from Manchester City and Arsenal. Chelsea got in the Premier League. You know, got in the Champions League. Man United missing out on the top four. You know, Norwich getting in to the top six. And then Burnley getting taken the Europa Conference League place ahead of Tottenham and Everton. Surprisingly, Brentford doing well to finish in in uh, 11th. That's what so Brentford had just consolidated the place in the Premier League. Leeds United got um, 13th, which I believe is an improvement from 17th. 13th there for Leeds, which is an improvement from 17th. You know, Reading, West Ham and Bournemouth all being relegated from the Premier League. You know, Bournemouth being relegated with a minus 5 goal difference. I mean, it's cruel. But at the end of the day, if you don't get the wins required to stay in the Premier League, then you will struggle. Next season, you've got Man City champions, you know, 11 points ahead of Man United. Liverpool and Chelsea getting in the top four ahead of Arsenal and Leicester. Turs a bit further back. And yeah, luckily that they got into Europe ahead of Wolves and Brentford and Watford. Teams like that. Brighton and Swansea did really well. Swansea did really well, you know, in 12th. And Sheffield United, Stoke, miles clear, cut adrift at the foot of the table. Leeds United being relegated from the Premier League as well. The next season after that, you've got Birmingham City that lost 30 games in the Premier League season. Might be a new record. I don't Bruv, they've lost one more than Derby County, which is absolutely mad. They've won one more match than Derby County. Derby have been shocking, but Birmingham got 30 losses in the Premier League season. You know, only getting three draws and yeah, only beating Swansea away as well. But all the teams have been just relegated as well. Newcastle as well going down again. Swansea going down again. So no real relegation danger. Wolves getting top six. Tottenham getting Europa League. Arsenal having to settle for Europa League again. Nowhere near to qualifying for the Champions League. Too many draws. Let the team down. And yeah, the title race was contested between Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United and City with Liverpool winning it. You know, and there is the Premier League season. So let's go through the managers right now. So Thomas Tuchel is the manager of Arsenal. What happened to Mikel Arteta? Yes, Arteta tasted the chop after losing the FA Cup. Maybe he could have got some leeway. Yeah, he lost to Chelsea. Maybe he could have got leeway if he won the FA Cup. But unfortunately, also, but it's also a fact that we're going to have a look at Tuchel as well. That the manager that did come in, you know. He, Tuchel also got sacked as the Chelsea. Tuchel also got sacked as Chelsea boss. Unbelievable. Despite finishing second, Chelsea, Tuchel got sacked by finishing second in the league and only managed to win the FA Cup. Yeah, the board especially of Ivanovic, bro. He's pissed, bro. He's pissed that Chelsea don't have, have, haven't have had a Premier League title yet. He's pissed. That's why. Mikel Arteta lasted 8 days, years and 326 days before facing the sack. Aston Villa. Frank Lampard is the manager of Aston Villa. And yeah. Lampard has had a shock. It, uh, I mean, Lampard's managerial journey has been absolutely crazy. Sacked by Chelsea. You know, after winning the Community Shield in FA Cup. Hired as Newcastle manager. You know, he's hired as the Newcastle manager as well. It's all crazy. Then he went to Wolves. Then he got sacked. 
Then he went to Sheffield United. He got sacked as well. Aston Villa. I mean, wow. Lampard. Wow. Lampard has just been relegating teams. It's absolutely unbelievable. Aidan Marsh is now the Aston Villa captain. Wow. And Nwabe. This is a new world for Aston Villa. A post to Jack Grealish world. Ogwone is the Arsenal captain as well. You know, Bournemouth. Sergi Samak is the manager of Bournemouth. You know, Scott McKenna is their captain as well. Chris Hooten is the manager of Brentford and UFC. Hayden Roberts and Luke O'Connell, captain and vice captain. Willy Caballero as well. McAllister, captain as well. Um, Danny Cowley, the manager of Burnley. Uh, Kisias is the manager of Chelsea. So let's just see the Chelsea. Have they been sacking and sacking managers? Yes, they have been. You know, we talked about. The second of managers of Valverde went out, or Emery went out. Con Cicial has went out, and now he's the Real Sociedad boss. Tuchel got sacked, and now Casillas has all the pressure in the world to deliver Chelsea major trophies, the Premier League, the Champions League. Chelsea need to deliver that soon. Everton, Paulo Swalser is the manager of Everton. Deed Smith is the manager of Leeds. Um... Britt Lund Ardestein is the manager of Leicester City. Liverpool Klopp is still the manager. So he's been in charge of Liverpool 13 years and 258 days. You know, Jurgen Klopp. He's been around the block. 62 years old. Could he stay at Liverpool until he retires? I mean, the way Liverpool are going looks incredible. But can Liverpool keep up with the times? Or will Klopp be passed by? Man City. They sacked Pep Guardiola after 12 and years and 322 days. I mean, Manchester City. As you can see, Man City. They got knocked out by Bayern Munich in the first, the last 16 of the Champions League. Reached the FA Cup final, but lost to Liverpool. I mean, you could say... That Klopp put the nail in Guardiola's coffin. The final nail in Guardiola's coffin. Winning the Carabao Cup wasn't enough to save Guardiola's job. Because who, who gives a crap about the Mickey Mouse Cup? Literally no one. Yeah, that's the be all. Man United have now got Marcelo Geraldo as the manager. So Allegri ended up getting sacked after five years. Going up to six years of management. Conte also got sacked after a season. You know, Maurizio Sarri retired from management. And Garrado is... Can he lead Manchester United onto greater things? Because this save has been all about Liverpool and Manchester City so far. Norwich City. Russell Martin has gone back to his roots as the Norwich City boss. He's been, you already know his time of Norwich at Norwich as a player. But he's finally back with Norwich City as the manager. You know, he left to join Norwich City as well. He's been there a long time, man. He's going to be there for a long time, man. Todd Cantwell was still the captain, you know. So he's been around. He's stayed at Norwich. Nuno Espirito Santo is the manager of Norwich. Joe Rondon. I don't know what it is about Ronda, but he always seems to join Southampton in every FM save I've played. He always joins Southampton. Stoke City, Eddie Howe is the manager. No, John Lawrence, a Nigerian. Let's have a quick look at him. He starts up his game at Manchester United. He's, he's, he's made his way up. Wigan, Nottingham Forest, Bristol City, and now Stoke. Although he'll be playing Championship. Jurgen Klinsmann is back with Spurs. He's back at Spurs as manager, you know, he's been around, bided his managerial time. He's been at Genoa, Hellas Verona, Parma, Calegri, AC Milan, and now he's with Spurs. And yes, yeah, Spurs have fallen on hard times. Harry Kane, still the captain, but the joke is he is retiring next season. Harry Kane's retiring next season, and he's only got four goals. And to be honest to you, I don't think he's going to be Shearer's record. I don't think he is. 
because Kane needed X amount of goals and I don't think he's got it. X amount of goals yet. Or maybe he can. Let's have a look. Let's have a look right now. Harry Kane is on 252 goals. But Kane last year, he could have really made an impact in scoring goals. But the thing is, right now, he's been rotated out by Troy Parrott, who's now up I mean, or he's shared duties with Troy Parrott as well. So with Troy Parrott coming up, it might be hard for him as well to get it. But let's just see Shearer's record right now. Let's see Shearer's record. So you've got 112 with Blackburn. Actually, let's have a look at lead totals. Actually, he could beat Shearer's record still. He could beat Shearer's record still. Even though Kane has only got four goals, he could still beat Shearer's record. He could still do it. He could still do it. He could still do it. But the funny thing is, Troy Power has been getting more game time. Troy Power has been getting more game time. Yeah. Let's just see all this so far. So yeah, you can just see Kane up there as well. Dejan Stankanovic is at Watford. West Ham United, Brendan Rodgers. And Wolves, Carlo Angelotti is the manager. You know, let's just drop down the league. Scabbard Championship, you can just see Newcastle. Fulham of course got promoted back to the Premier League. Fulham have got promoted back to the Premier League. They will be competing in it after a number of years out of it. You know what I'm saying? Newcastle are finally back. Newcastle being the yo-yo side. I mean, Newcastle being the yo-yo side. Um, Sheffield United also making it back in as well. And Fulham, Nottingham Forest, Bristol City, Reading, commiserations to you guys. Bristol City are also up there as well. You know, Swansea, Birmingham, Millwall, Crystal Palace. You know, let's just have a look at Fulham real quick, man, because I'm really interested to see what they've done. And you can just see, and Burmo is there. And Burmo's there. It's crazy, isn't it? Burmo's there, really, haven't really made any big signings. You could somebody say Callum Robertson, Mickey Johnston from Rockwood, Jamie Shackleton. Um, you know, all those guys. Mitrovic going went to West Ham. Hector also gone out. Kamara's gone out. Leo Connor as well. Dominic Thompson. Dominic Thompson was another guy that went to Fulham. Hawking Hamadou Proper. Number three. John Jules. Love to see it. Sims. Wolfgang Wagner. Oh, it's absolutely crazy, this. It's absolutely crazy, right? Let's have a look at Crystal Palace real quick. No, Crystal Palace. Yeah, it's a different playground. They do have Loftus. Wait, they, they have Loftus cheat there. But this is a different playground. This is a different breed. This Palace team. This Palace team. They haven't really spent on anyone big as well. Well, they have Tyron Mings, Elanusi, Field. Was it worthwhile transfers though? Harriet as well. Harding. Were these transfers even worth it? Because Palace are even struggling to make it back.
Bruh. Brighton Bong is the manager as well, and Kai Chog Yak is the manager at Fulham. This is absolutely crazy right now. St. Maximin's banging in goals. Morelos. Morelos is... I can't believe Morelos is playing championship level. This is just a mess. There's this guy, apparently. I just searched him up, and apparently he becomes Bristol City. I didn't even know he was the upstart of Bristol City. But he's been bagging Bristol City, and unfortunately he hasn't made Premier League yet. That's the same with a number of teams actually on this list, you know. You know not just Bristol City, Millwall is there, as included as well. West Brom as well. So that'd be crazy. Portsmouth. You know, Portsmouth. Ah. Uh, they did have that swabby guy as well, Pompey. How much did he get? How much? How, how much? L let's see. Uh, you know what? I can't even see his feet, man. They could have waited for his feet for him. Where is he at? He went to PSG on a free. Wow. Wow, I can't believe it, man. He went to PSG on a free. That's crazy. 72 million. Wow. Pompey have just missed out big time on getting a fee. Getting a fee that could have been crazy money. Rochdale have made it up, which is surprising. Rochdale managed to get promoted, but unfortunately they're going down. Aaron Morley is the only strong, strong, strong player. The rest of the team is not scratch. But he didn't even get lost, which is a bit of an achievement, though. I'm saying. Let's have a quick look here. So, yeah, we already know the guy's going up. It's which Blackburn Rotherham went down. MK Dons Luton Sheffield. Bournemouth went up with 108 points. Scored 109 times. They lost 8 times as well. Cardiff, AFC, Wimbledon. Sunderland. Relegated. Sheffield Wednesday QPR Middlesbrough. Yeah. Let's just drop down another league. Plymouth are going up to Skybet Championship for the first time. They beat Bolton in the player final. You can see Middlesbrough. Absolutely putting in mad work. 109 points as well. Sheffield Wednesday going back up to the championship. You know, Walsall, Fleetwood, Oxford, and Colchester going down. Let's see how things went in the 24 season. Leighton Orient, Coventry, Accrington, Wickham, down. Steven is Oxford, trying to make Gilling and Gilles down. Then Exeter, Scud Scuddy, Port Vale, and Forest Green down. Gillingham, Chester, Bristol Rovers, and Coventry down. And then you've got Bolton Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers could be on a come up. Bolton Wanderers could be back. Bolton Wanderers could be back. They struggled here, but they came up as champions. Bolton Wanderers, they'd be biding their time in League One. Can they make it back up? Hopefully they can. So in League Two, relegated teams, you've got Blackpool and Newport County. I mean, Blackpool being relegated. 50 points is, cr is uh, literally... Hate to see it. Newport County going down as well. Barnett and Yeovil were down. Um, Salford and Shelton went down. Fowler and Crawley that year. And Yeovil and Blackpool have been recently relegated as well. So in the National League, you Dolwich Hamlet, who are going to be promoted into League 2. For the first time ever, let's go. They defeated Hartlepool in the playoff final. He also relegated to the sixth year with Sutton, Southport, Kidderminster, Chorley. Halifax, Torquay, Oxford, City of Gateshead, Barrow, Morecambe, Welling, and Bath City. You know, Harrogate, Bromley, Sutton. And then Curzon, Aston, Woking, Kings League, and Tamworth. Gloucester City have won the league. Massive 104 points for Gloucester. They're now a professional outfit as well. Wow, I can't believe it. They got relegated out of the game and they come back professional. Gloucester and Southport going up this season. Relegated teams of Braintree, Scarborough, Buxton, Hendersford. 
you know, South Shield, Sesam, Stadium Bridge, Darlington went down. Myrtle, Witten, Telford, and Stalbridge went down. Brayton, Warrington, Reddit, and Barwell went down. Nuttington, St. Albans, Morpeth, and Worcester went down. And then we go to the National League South, where we see that Hebel Hempstead have won the league. Well, big up Sunny and all the Tudor Army there. You're finally in the National League. Took you lot 10 years, but you made it. Let's just have a quick look. Quick look, quick look, quick check. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. If I press down on the computer, this is what happens. Having a Waterloo the girl. Okay, Chipping and Fox and Weymouth Western are out. Kingston and Paul Concord and Salisbury are hard. Two, all three of my former clubs in my journey will have all be relegated out of the game. How unfortunate is that? Ricky Mar Margate Slough and Throw will be relegated. Toro Leverhead Paul and Stain to be run. And Dorchester Eastbourne Metropolitan Police and Grays Athletic have all gone. So, yeah, Bromley, we've been bouncing up and down the leagues. We've been bouncing up and down the leagues. That's what we've been doing. You know. Okay, let's have a look at league. And, you know, I'm not even really going to take a... What's that? Who wins it? PSG have won, won the league. Absolutely. Mastosaurus. They were undefeated in the first season, people. They were undefeated. They only conceded 16 goals with an 80... Plus 82 goal difference. And they got 104 points. Absolutely unbelievable how PSG have just dominated... You know, PSG have absolutely been dominating the league. Well, they kind of lost their leeway a little bit due to Mbappe leaving. But come on, man. Even when Mbappe is leaving, like, they are still out here doing madness. They are out here still doing the madness. But the thing is, PSG, the thing is, France only has two Champions League spots now. Not three. Which means the French League has definitely been weakened. Despite PSG's best efforts, you know, Hans Dieter Flick is the manager of PSG. And Bukayo Saka is at uh, PSG. I mean, he transferred from AC Milan for 60 million. I mean, he's having a little good career. Adley's there, Doku's there. Bruv, this is a sweaty team. Sars there. Edward, Wambasaka, Mil Milinkovic, Savage. But yeah. Although PSG's team, core team, is getting gold. They're still winning the league. Winners League, let's have a look, quick look, see if we winning it. Bruv, Bayern Munich are just absolutely mad, but Bayern Leverkusen have taken the lead title off them. As have Wolfsburg, Dortmund still yet to win the league in this simulation. And you can see Hertha Berlin have got a cheeky third. So we have a look at their side right now. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gee, what the hell have I done? Bayern Munich finished fifth. Wow. Did a flick. Defra got shafted. Yeah, he did. Flick got shafted. Poor performance in the league. Dortmund as well. But yeah, I'm so glad Hertha are now a mainstay European side. Because see, Radia is a strong player. 75 million valuation. Side for 34 million from Juventus. And he's been providing goals, assists, high average ratings. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's a strong, it's a strong Hertha side, can't lie. Strong Hertha side. Bayern Munich. Core of the team, Veron's still there as well. Veron's been a mad pickup, especially at the start of the game from Palmarius. Yeah, he's just, he's just, well, he will not stop. Medbury as well, another guy, 16 assists. He's come from Hertha Berlin. Of course, I talked about it. Oh, I'm talking about it. Quality player. 300k a week. 
Evan and Dicker as well, and Armo Bellacoccia as well. Another player, Bayern, Hertha sold to Munich. Evan and Dicker as well. Borussia Dortmund. Is really anybody still there? Sergio Gomez is still there. Yeah, Gomez is still there. He's still out here assisting. Giovanni Reina. He's also been getting in on the act as well. Zagadu. Zagadu. Chris Mottry. He's a shrewd, shrewd, shrewd signing. Luis Sosa. On loan from um, Benfica. But yeah, let's roll to the Dutch League. Let's roll there. Ajax have been running the show. PSV have taken the title off them. Utrecht, they finished second. So maybe there could be a new threat on board. See, Napoli have got the league. Esposito is still with Inter Milan. Still there with Inter Milan. Still scoring for Inter Milan. Yeah, surprised he hasn't moved on to a big club. He stays to stay with Inter. They stay low with um, Inter Milan. Of course, Oblak is there. Oblak's there. Oblak's there. Valverde. Okay, we talked about Valverde last episode. You know what I mean? But yeah, Juventus. Roma have been winning the league. Interesting. Ju Juve. Juve. Winning it ahead of Inter. Then Roma. Then Inter. Although Fiorentina was the biggest threat to Inter's dominance, you know. Uh, Norwegian league. Let's just have a check check of this. Valeranga and Mold Bran have been winning the Euro Norwegian league. Portuguese league has been one win keep. Porto and Benfica keep sharing the titles. Among them, the Scottish Premiership, you got Rangers that broke the long Celtic dominance. I mean, somebody had to put a stop to that. But the Celtic, and yes, yeah, Celtic are just continuing where they just left off. Unbelievable. Celtic just. It's absolutely crazy because Rangers have won 57 league titles. That's the same. Celtic have equaled that record. Celtic have now, with their recent win, Celtic have equaled that record. Barcelona have won every league title apart from this season. Look at this. Look at this dominance. Bro, just look at this dominance. Barcelona scored 112 goals. In the league, wow, this is just classic. This is this is a post Lionel Messi world, and Barcelona are out here doing madness. A post Lionel Messi world. Well, they lost three times. They lost to Real Madrid, Getafe, and Espanyol, but they were smoking out teams, smoking out teams. You know, crazy. Even again, Barcelona man got only dropped four points the entire season. Barcelona only dropped five points the entire season. They drew with Valencia at home and got beat by Sevilla away. They beat Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid twice. This is crazy. Guys, this is honestly crazy. This is crazy. Barcelona. But then somehow Barcelona score plus 100 goals, but Real Madrid managed to win the league. And then Barcelona managed to squeak ahead of Real Madrid. And then it's close. Real Madrid are now scoring a lot of goals. Odds on Barcelona. So it's really getting close right now. But Real Madrid, I'm glad that they won the league. Because Barcelona could have been threatened to run away with this league. As you can see, the Sturgeon is still the captain at 37. Oziabuil went back to Barcelona. He's vice captain. You can just see Ansu Fati there. Ansu Fati, minor interest of Manchester United. Ansu Fati, can he be the next Lionel Messi? And you bet he can. Ansu, 
you bet your ass he can be the new Lionel Messi, and he delivers that promise. 30 goals in 55 appearances in 24-25. And yes, Ansu Fati. Wow. Wow. 214 release clause. Quartes. You got Quartes as well, Dare. As well. Pedri in the attacking mid position. He's wanted minor interest by PSG. And look at the amount of 20 goals he's got with 13 assists. This is crazy. Pedri. He's got big boots to fill. My word, he's filling it in well. Pedro, Pedri, and Ansu Fati. And uh, Mario Cortez as well. You've got to give him credit where it's due. And who's the left wing as well? Brian Gill. Actually, no, 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 no. Less than that, less than that. He's not really, he's not even first. He's not even first choice out here, man. I want to see who's the first choice left winger in this team. Where where's Madison been playing? This this is a joke. Where has Madison been playing? Where's Ansu Fati been playing? He's been playing strike. Which means Pedri. Pedri's been left wing. Pedri's been on the left wing. Which means Mario Cuartes has been on the right wing often. And then who is the number? Oh, that's Miguel Oxirebio. That's Miguel. Okay, that's Miguel. But he's been injury prone. So he has been sharing that duty with James Madison. Well, he's been playing midfield rather than, you know. But this is crazy. Barcelona's team is honestly crazy. Just have a take a look at that team. Marquinhos there as well with Sergio Martinez. Tillemans, Madison, Quartes, Pedri, Gilles, and Ansu Fati. Fati with Chukwesi as well. Paulo Roberto, Frankie de Jong as well. Milenkovic, Skriniar. This is a sweaty Barcelona team. Real Madrid. You know, Real Madrid. Garlado left Real Madrid to take the Manchester United job. You know, Goncalo Ramos. You can just, I'm having a vision of CR7 here. Goncalo Ramos. I'm having a vision of CR7 except Ramos starts the game off at Benfica. And my word. He isn't really CR7. He's not CR7. Nobody can be CR7. He's a playmaker. For Christ's sake. He's a playmaker. But you can see. Goncalo Ramos has got a huge amount of quality in him. You know, Florentino, Luis, as well. You've got a big, I've got a big mention to him. You know, let's just run through the transfers real quick of Rasa and Real Madrid. You know, Kimmich went to... You know, Kimmich went to uh, Real Madrid on a free. Cliver and Neves have got out. You know, my game's kind of slow. The Karim Masuami, 100 and... 1 million M's to get him from Leon, and he's been he's been good. He's been good, but the amount he'll probably want a new deal though. He's only only 90k a week. He's only only 90k a week. It's absolutely bad, isn't it? He's only only 90k a week. You know. No Bubakar Kamara as well. Felipe as well coming in as well. Um, no Silal. Osanzo as well. And yeah, this is Kubo went to Leeds. Yeah, my game is just slowing down at this exact point. Soz the video has just gone so long, but my vi my PC I might need to shut it down and anything, you know what I'm saying? Let's just have a look at the uh, You know, Chukwesi is also coming, and he's done the business right now. You know, who's he wanted by? Who's he wanted by? He's wanted by Liverpool transfer. You know, Talis Mango has gone to Juve, Ventus, 
David's coming from Porto. David Neres has got out. Angelino has got out as well. Oxiabrio. Moiriba. He starts the game off. Really promising player, but he now finds himself at uh, Salzburg with Samuel and Titi going to uh, Shakhtar. And then we talked about Carlos de Cruz, a weird, uh, defensive midfielder who's come in for 105 million and he's got 14 assists and 4 goals in league play. Just such quality. And also the fact that Ansu Fati has got an 8.2 in the league. This is so crazy. It's crazy. Pedri on a 7.98 as well. And also Pedri has also got, he's also consistently getting 8 as well. So it's absolutely mad. Absolutely bad. Swedish league, you've got um, Norrköping, Kalmar, Norrköping again, Hakan and Malmo winning titles with the US, seeing Atalanta United defeating the LA, LA clubs. New York's New York get their first MLS Cup. Well, as new Real Salt Lake best, the defending champions, New York City. Penalty winning. And also, let's just go on to the international side. Argentina have won the recent 2026 World Cup. They've been there, they won it. So let's have a look, to see what happened. Let's have a look, to see what happened. Let's see what to look at what happened in group plays. Group play. Group play, a group play. Burkina Faso got in ahead of uh, Colombia. We came second in, in the Colombia group. Came second. So let's see who we faced in the second round. Let's see who we faced in the second round. Lost to Portugal on penalties. I mean, things do not change. Things do not change for England. Losing penalties to Portugal side. And also the fact that, um, the fact of the matter is, England did get to the semi-finals of the European Championships last time, but did lost to Germany on extra time. Lost to Germany on extra time. So there's literally no rest. There is no rest. No rest. And then, in, you know, let's have a look to see what's going on here. In our play, group play, England won all the matches. Second round, lost to Italy. Lost to Italy. There is just no hope for us. There is no hope. Holy crap, man. I want to see the freaking Nations League. Okay. Here, 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 here. Okay, we didn't qualify for the International League that year. Whether we made it, but we got beat by France. And we didn't qualify this year because France was in our group. Ah, man. It has to be like that, innit? Champions League. And my word, Liverpool have won it four times in a row. They beat Barcelona, Chelsea, Real Madrid and Barcelona again. And then Bayern Munich won a league. The Champions League. By defeating Real Madrid on a penalty shootout. Liverpool got smoked out by Munich. Wow. Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. Let's just see what happened. But Liverpool beat Barcelona 2 1. Real Madrid lost to Liverpool extra time. Liverpool beat Chelsea 1 0. Liverpool beat Barcelona 3 2. It's all crazy. It's all crazy. Euro Cup. Won by Arsenal, Ajax, Wolfsburg, Inter and Schalke. Then in the Europa Conference League, you got PSV, Victoria, Lille, Tottenham and Utrecht. Winning there. So let's have a look, quick look 
review, quick look review, Africa Cup of Nations. Let's see how my Niger boys have done. My Niger boys. And you see, the Niger boys. Ah. Oh, haven't made it to podium. The Niger boys. The Niger boys. We ain't made it to podium. Yeah, we lost to Mali after extra time in the 2025 Iterician of the Africa Cup of Nations. Lost to Guinea the I that year. And we also lost to Algeria as well. So yeah, overall, I think that might be it. Okay, that might that's going to be it for today's part. Hopefully we go again in 20 years time. You'll be back for a 20 year, year session and see you guys then.